Hello everyone, today we are going to detect where the player is looking at in Minecraft. It, this can be in Bedrock or PE, but they are the same. First thing you want to get is a command block. You can do this by doing slash give at s command block. Then we're gonna need some redstone. And get a block of choice that you want. Now I am going to do this not all the time so I will only want to do this if I'm holding a trident or anything else if you want. First I'm gonna do the detect if I'm holding a trident. You can, you can do this by doing slash enchant command. Like this. You do slash enchant, the name, then the enchantment, then how much you want to enchant. Make sure it's in repeat and always active. Now we'll summon the armor stance. That's the trick behind this old this thing. To do slash summon then the mob and then the then it's mob event wait no first slash summon then the mob then you do the position then you do the mob event then the name okay let's do this For this case, I called my armor stand look. Now we'll do two chain commands that will that will determine if I'm looking up or am I, if I'm looking down. This is optional, but if you if you want this, you can do two. Just copy the first command and paste it and change the name. This one up, this one down. Now let's test it. We don't want, I don't want it to summon in the command blocks, but if you want it to summon on the command blocks, you can do it. 
So I'm gonna change the commands a bit to summon on me instead of the command blocks. I will just add execute and the position before it. Now let's test it, but first let me destroy this. Now we don't want it on an actual self, so we need to teleport it. So we need to do this by doing scoreboard command. First I'm gonna set a scoreboard. We can do that by doing slash scoreboard objectives add the string, then the type, and then the name. The, the string is basically what you're gonna put in. And the name is the name of it. For me, I'll just put it on the same name and string. Now we'll add the scoreboard using commands. You can do this by doing slash scoreboard players add your name, the objective, and the number. If you use add, then it's just gonna add by one. If you use set, it will always be that number. Now we can test for the score of the player using two options first one is using the scoreboard command second one is by testing it first one looks like this scoreboard players test the name of the player or the at p at a at s and then the objective and the minimum amount like for example one the maximum amount 5 so it's gonna test the amount if the player has a score of 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Let's test it out. As you can see, it's got my score. 
Now let's do the other method. First, let me remove my score. You can do reset or remove. But remove removes you from that objective. So you can set the players to zero if you want to. Now this is the second way, which I like to do it. First we need to put a command. But for this example, I'll just do clear. Now thus the this one can be used in any commands while the other one can only be used in scoreboard command. So the syntax is bracket scores equal to curly bracket and then the name of your objective equal to the score that you want. And then you close it all out. Now let's test this. I actually accidentally mistake and turn the numbers up. as you can see it worked it took all my diamonds from me now for this tutorial I will be using the scoreboard command I forgot to res I forgot to re reset my score. Accidentally hold my trident. Now to get rid of that text on the side of your screen, you simply do Game rule command block output false Now we want to teleport it so we're gonna call it by name, so we do this. Uh, let's do not intentionally to but the scores thing that we mentioned earlier.
this is going to test for only everyone with the score of 1. Set that to repeat. Now let's test it out. Now there it is. You can set the, th the number 3 to anything you want and it will go higher if you want. Now let's do the same thing for down. Just copy and paste and well we need to repeat it first or just do chain command. Change the name to down and negative or any number you want. test it Wait. oh there it is now let's move our look this is where we're gonna look this this is the detecting part we just need to tp it so just copy the first command Now change the squigglies to up arrows and change the name to look and it should be okay. Switch chain and always active. Oh, I placed the tree in the wrong one. It should be on the right arrow one. There you go. And if you look and look, now we'll detect it. Now let me just reset my score. Now basically we're just gonna detect around the up for the look so let's do that we're gonna use the execute command for this
the r equals 3 is how big or how far you look at it it's the radius of the armor stand basically like this make sure it's repeat and always active i'm just gonna put a testing high here and basically r r is like this so you see like that there's all there's already high but if we change that to change that to one then look at this no more high there but if we go directly there's high I'm gonna set it to one and I'm gonna change the one that that makes you that makes the armor stand teleport to you because if it teleports to me it's gonna run the command so let's change that now Just remove the execute position and name. Now copy the command and do it for the other one as well. Change the name to down this time. I'm just resetting my score so that the armor stand don't follow me. Now we can add any command here to look if we're looking up or down. So I'm just gonna put up and down. Say up and down. That's just what I'm gonna put. You can put anything here. that's basically it do this and do this and we'll go down up down you can do left and right the same way just put it like somewhere there But doing left and right is very hard because your camera moves and up and down only stays like there. That's all for now. See you.